What's poppin' my collectives? It's White Butterfly Ascension. Coming to get my Taurus reading. Same thing. How my Tauruses collective feel about their person. And how my collective person feels about them. With that being said, I hope y'all are staying safe. Make sure that you like, share, comment, and subscribe. You need a personal read? I got you. Go to my website. And we end that thing. Okay. Job. 42 and 2. And Psalms 91. So we got Usher, say what you want. So Tauruses, are y'all saying to say what you want? Close mouth, don't get fed. But what I'm seeing from Job, that is Job 42 and 2. So that is two fours. And Psalms 91 is 9 plus 1, that's 10. That's completion. So maybe y'all completing the cycle. And the cycle is going to bring y'all to the next level that y'all need to go to. Check it out. With that being said, Angel Spirit guys, show me how my Taurus collective feel about the person. Mm. Seven of Cups. Show me what else. How my Taurus feel. Okay. So, y'all see this person. Maybe have a lot of options. Maybe option in love. But you see happiness with this person. And y'all could be dealing with a fire sign because Aries just got this thing called for their first call. It. So you are having a lot of options. And you are seeing the sun with one of these options. So, let's see what else. Show me the seven of cups. Okay. So, we gotta look how God works. Tory Lanes. And then we got temperance, patience coming out. So maybe the universe is telling my Taurus is to be, be patient. Maybe they need to be patient. Patient. I was about to say patient. So maybe you pacing. Waiting on this person. But you are. Having to have patience with the situations. Because it will bring you happiness. Once one. Of your. Once you have decided to deal with possibly just one person. And y'all can be definitely dealing with a fire sign because we got the page of wands at the bottom of the deck. So show me temperance with my Tauruses and how they feel about their person. So maybe this is something that y'all are just starting. Something that you just thought and that you need to be patient with. Maybe if this connection has been on your mind, keeping you up at night. Maybe this woman is thinking about this situation. This person that may have a lot of options. But maybe you are seeing that you are happy with this person. You see love with this person. 
show me what else for my Tauruses and how they feel about this person. See? You see this person as a Ten of Cups? You see this person as a Ten of Cups? You see the love? You see the sun? You see everything with this person? But the universe is asking you to be patient right now. And I just told y'all, ten. Ten of Cups. Nine plus one, ten. I'm just saying. So, you see this happiness with a possible fire sign. Or a water sign. Or air sign. I'm not sure. You know who you date. But you see... This person has a total package. You see the picket fence, the animals, the children. Maybe this person has a fireplace. And he just said, I know God got me. I ain't tripping. So, <coughs> you know that you need to have patience so you can get this happiness and ten of cups with this person okay and they got a key sweat right and wrong way so it was right and the wrong way to love somebody and maybe you want to love this person the right way and you want to leave these options to get this one happiness but you got to have patience and then up in your head because you really want this happiness with this person. Show me how my Taurus person feels about them. Show me how my Taurus person feels about them. Mm. Now that's beautiful, y'all. That is beautiful. We got the nine of coins. So they see wish fulfillment with you. You see the ten of cups, they see wish fulfillment with you. That's beautiful. That's so beautiful. Okay, Tauruses. Okay, my collective. Hey. Let's see. Show me what else I need to see for Taurus person. Show me what else I need to see for Taurus person. So this person sees wish fulfillment and everything that they want within you. But like you in the Nine of Swords energy, they were once in this Five of Swords and, tired and scared of change, still coming in towards you defensive. Or maybe this is an air sign that you left for an earth sign, fire sign, or water sign. I don't know. Y'all got to tell me. Show me this five of swords for my Taurus person. He said, don't play no silly games with me, baby. Seven of Wands. So, you got out of this thinking negatively and move forward victoriously. Seven shows you standing up, you glowing, glowing up, you just heard. And you want this person you actually see the light at the end of the tunnel after getting out your head. You actually see forward movement. Maybe you had to get your money right and that's what kept you in your head or this person in the head because of them seeing the abundance, the wish fulfillment with you, my Tauruses. But they had to get out of their own way. You know, sometimes we can be our worst enemy. Sometimes we are our worst critic. 
And maybe this person was talking themselves out of being with you, Taurus, or maybe you was talking yourself of being out of with this person. But you actually see happiness. You actually see the Ten of Cups with this person. That's why the universe asks you to be patient. And this person here has been working on their money so they can come in and move forward towards you. Show me what else has. So we got Capricorn. So maybe, and then that's a 10 and a 5. So 10 is endings, 5 is challenges, changes. So, as I say, you're getting out of this negative headspace from holding yourself back, from not believing that you can't have this happiness with your Taurus or your Taurus with you. Instead of you thinking negatively, you know, negative thoughts become reality. So you have to think positively to be able to get this wish fulfillment, to be able to stand firm and secure and move forward. Clarify this double way from a Taurus person. Okay, Beyonce, mine. And just to let y'all in on a little secret, I was channeling this song this morning. It woke me up. No lie. Man. So maybe y'all had conversations about breakup and separating, but you see that you got the Ten of Cups with this person, and you see the sun with this person. And you telling them they're taking it too far. Show me this devil. The tourist person. Or maybe this could be you. My Taurus is thinking negatively. Not trying to think positive. And that's the energy that you're in. Instead of trying to move forward with this person. Switch the roles. How do you go? Tell me what I need to see from this devil. I offer. See, you're trying to get out of this devilish mindset so you can make an offer. It may be a small offer that this person is trying to make to you, my Tauruses. They might be a little childish. They might be younger than you. Whatever the case may be, but you... are definitely gonna get a message possibly about this wish fulfillment and then we got uh -huh. Let me see. Hi. Hi. Okay. Hi. okay I don't know how to put it like let me see yeah there we go so we got judgment at the bottom of the deck so there has been judgment that has been rendered yeah and then we got the Eight of Wands, forward movement. No more juggling. Somebody wants to take a risk. And there will be judgment, a tower moment, unfortunately, but this tower moment is going to bring the sun as Ten of Cups. Oh, baby. Okay, show me the Seven of Wands. The Taurus person. Show me a seven of wands. The Taurus person. Show me this. See? That's my good old Taurus. Capricorn, Virgo, whoever this person is. But this person is going to come with a stable offer. This person is going to come secure, ready, knowing what they want. Grounded, confident, 
Y'all hear that plan? That's confirmation. Okay, let me see if I can get your... Okay, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. Show me the outcome. Okay, that was quick. So, if you don't know this person, how this person is thinking about you, they about to confess. Maybe they won't take you on a little vacay, vacay, hideaway, some type of adventure. Just you and them to show their unconditional love. Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment, Ten of Cups, everything. In the sign. Y'all got love for real with this person, with this relationship. Get out of this negative headspace. Get out of this negative energy. Get out of this devilish mindset. Because this person is coming in to give you unconditional love. Okay, my good like this. That's so cute. Okay. Let me get y'all Oracle Code. Okay. That's so cute. Okay. Okay, my connectors, let me get y'all the oracle message. Get the oracle message from my Tauruses to close out this beautiful reading. I'm happy for y'all. All love and light. I'm sending y'all because y'all going to be too cute. Ain't going to be a hot girl summer for somebody. Mm. Lady of the Stars. Priestess of Cyrus. Let's see what she says. Let's see, my collector. You told me you done with that. So, you told somebody you was done with something? All right. So we got Priestess of Cyrus. Cyrus is a celestial goddess, a star of the unconditional love. Now, does that not go with y'all? Y'all got unconditional love. I'm just saying. Unconditional love and wisdom at an extremely high vibration. It brings deep soul awakening, spiritual gifts, and a high capacity for divine service. Lady of the Stars is also an empowerment of all other oracles in this deck. She tells you to pay attention because something significant is taking place right now. With that being said, my collectors, y'all might want to check out the Aries read. I don't know. Y'all might be dealing with a fire sign. I'm not sure. But y'all might want to go check it out. Because they had... Never mind. Anyways, go check it out if you like. The next thing playing is Sammy face-to-face. -face. So maybe you're about to be face-to-face -face with this person. And um, they can't wait. Because they see Ten of Cups, baby. With that being said, make sure y'all like, comment, share, and subscribe. Check out my TikTok videos. And if you need a personal, check out my website. And I'm going to holler at y'all. Y'all be easy.